hey guys so in this video I'm going to show you how you can automate a website or an Android app with your web GUI so I'm going to log into my server right now so you can see that I have I'm running these two Android emulators and these are actually two bots so they are looking for the tasks which I will upload now from my GUI okay so let's go here let's first design our CSV file so I'm going to name this job ID anything and random let's name it that so in this column I will tell which bot has to do which task right so the bot one will do this row and the bot one, bot two will do this row right so what the bot has to do is it has to open the walmart in chrome of the android and then it has to type this keyword and then it has to find this product right and then i have given here pages to scan so let's say that i want the bot to scan maximum 10 pages to find this product right so this is a phone ID it can be anything it's it depends on the client so let's name it that and the status is zero right so we will save this file and let's upload that I'm going to copy that from my server to to my personal computer I don't have the Excel in my computer so that's why I'm using server okay so this is the page where we will upload the CSV file and let's find that okay so now we can submit that so the data has been inserted now if we see the logs page we are seeing this right bot, job ID bot ID and this now let's go back to the server and see how our phones are doing the job okay so you can see that they are working so this is actually a checkout bot for the Walmart so once the bot has done these tasks the user will go and check out manually from their phones right so let's see what happens next so it goes on to the Walmart it types the keyword and now it's going to find the product so it has find the product now it it will add it to the cart there you go so that's really it and the bot will change the IP address in the real phone so that the Walmart does not know that we are the same users who is doing who is buying all of that stuff so let's see our logs page now and here you can see it this is the IP address it is not changing right now because I'm using emulators but when we will use the real phones then it will change okay so this is our machine ID and this was our Android version and this is the Chrome version and it says job complete so yeah that's the new concept I am planning to do the automation similar automation for the Instagram app so as you know that the Instagram is very hard to scrape now from the from their website so I'm planning to do the same on Instagram Android app and I think that's possible 
let's see the stats of our server it says yeah we can add a lot of these emulators and run like that I think that will be good so if you have any questions or any ideas that you want me to work on feel free to comment and I will try to reach you thank, thank you for watching this video